Part two now. The part two of this drills are bag drills. Our bag drills is essential in what we're doing trying to develop defense alignments. What we want to use our bag drills for is to work on our feet, hips, and acceleration. The idea here is to make sure every single drill that you do, you see happen in this tape, that makes sure every single player finish full speed through the drills. This is what we start teaching and development. We think is important in trying to teach our players how to play hard, how to practice hard, and how to do drills hard. Because this is a skill that we think they got to have to be a great defensive line player. So I hope in the bag drills you get a sense of what we're doing, how fast we're running through the bag drills. But the most important thing we're looking for, the ability to lift our knees and have great flexibility. First drill, I can make sure everybody does the first drill, what we certainly call high knees. We want to get in a three-point stance, take off, drive our knees up in the air, and of course, celery off the last bag, at least five yards off the bag. Our next drill is a double-time knee drill. The emphasis here is to make sure we drive the knees up in the air and of course, celery off the back. Lateral over the bag drill, we just turn lateral, keeping our shoulders square trying to keep our toes point, pointed to the coach. And again, when you come off the bag, we accelerate to finish the drill. Around the bag drill, just basic to develop some quickness, backpedaling, and some agility. Again, we want to make sure we drive forward, keeping our hips down, sinking our hips, and finish the drill with acceleration forward. Lateral bags in a shoot is a real tough drill to do because now we're going to put you in a shoot, uh, which is going to help you stay knee bent, get great knee bend in your knees. Uh, also have the ability to keep their heads up as they go lateral the bag. That's a pretty good job by a guy 300 some pounds going underneath the shoot. Now he has advantage because he's on about six feet tall, but we do have guys 6'5 going over the shoot. Stagger a quick lower step drill. This is a great drill, I think. It's a great drill to develop quickness. I also help your kids really get their knees up in the air. It's a very fast paced drill. It's one of the drills we've been doing, working on in the spring to make our players better athletes. The key in a defensive line play is to make sure our players have a chance to be good athletes. And so my job as a coach is to help to develop those skills. And I think the series of these bag drills will show you what we're working on. That's a pretty good job of getting his feet over the back. The key here is to make sure that he get his feet over the backs. And, of course, we go to lateral. Step lateral, knee over the back, knee over the backs, and, of course, sprint off the back. Uh, you see the drill coming out of the way. Again, here is a slide shuffle. Slide shuffle, and then certainly high knees over the back and sprint to the cone. And we do some pursuit drills to make sure our kids understand important or soaring to the ball. This is called a high knee pursuit of the bag around the cone to a direction to the middle and then sprint and finish. It's just the way just kind of play football. <clears throat> the same thing. The important thing here is to make sure you keep your feet running around the cone. That's a pretty good job there. Same drill again, high knee of the bag. Again, and to make sure our feet are continuing running. Our next drill is a lower up redirect drill. Uh, now we stay in it, st now we start in what we call the three point stance. Uh, land three point stance. Actually, we land flat on our stomach, and we're from this position, we're going to go lower over the back, up as fast as we can, lower back. We want to make sure we go over the back, and then in and around, as you can see, and then sprint to your coach, plant, redirect to the ball. It's just again another way to develop delicate quickness in our defensive line play. High knees lower pursuit drill. Again, high knee of the bag, over the bag, lateral back. It's a pretty good job, good knee action. Then drive to the cone, plant and drive. Again, always finish the drill full speed. And this is high knee of the bag, same drill, just a different variation of this same drill. Here, plant and drive. Lower hit up and drill, drill. Stepping over cone uh, bags, make sure, the key here is to make sure it doesn't cross his feet. Uh, putting your chest down on the ground to get up and trying to develop some quickness. The same drill again. The key is going over the bag, pop up the ground as fast as you can. Over again, try to, to develop some lateral quickness and foot speed in our defensive line. Hit lateral up, bag drill. Again, you're going in and around. Again, just try to develop some quickness. 
and always finish drill to redirect and run into the ball. Low block shuffle drill. We do this drill to really just to work on our low block. Of course, at our level, we get cut block a lot of defensive linemen. So we got to have the ability to really work on and get our outside foot back, pushing off the back, shuffling our feet, uh, and then going, going to the next back. And this is the way we can teach our low block uh, sequence. You can notice he's pushing off each bag, shuffling, keeping his head up, getting his outside foot back. We call push guild and of course accelerate up field to finish the drill. Same thing, we like to keep our hands on the back if possible. That way we keep our knees bent if we keep our hands on the back. So we're going to slide our hands down the side of the bag and then accelerate. And that's a pretty good job. You see the same drill again? Base is sliding. Keep the hands down on the bags. That makes sure you're low. Keep your head up, outside foot back, head looking towards the opponent. That's a pretty good job there. Same drill. Notice his outside foot is back to protect him for the cut block and accelerate to the finish. Lateral low block drilling. All we basically do now is incorporate a big ball. And here we're going to accelerate, go lateral to the bag, incorporate a small ball. The key here is to make sure you get his outside foot back, keep his hand on the side, top of the ball, and pose a roll his hand over the top of the ball. Okay, again, we're going to shuffle, push back. Now we're going to lower step down here, place your outside foot back. That's a pretty good job getting his out foot, south foot back, outside foot back, and finishing the drill. Combination drill is high knees, lateral roll of the bags, sprint to a cone, carry ochre, flip your hips, back pedal, and finish the drill. This is a great drill, I think, to develop defensive line. Uh, we call this a four-corner drill. It's just a combination of seeing everything about an athlete. High knees with the back, sprint to the cone, lateral step, keep your shoulders square, to the cone downhill again. He's got to flip his hips inside, lateral step, and finish the drill. 